So right before filming tonight's negotiation guide on the 2020 Hyundai Kona and the Kia Seltos, I was on a FaceTime call with my little cousin Harut. He told me if you guys go and check out his TikTok channel or TikTok account, I still can't wrap my head around this whole thing, that not only will he do his homework, but he won't unsubscribe from this YouTube channel. Harut the Gamer is his handle. Check him out, throw him a like or two. Do whatever it is that TikTokers are doing. The idea behind tonight's negotiation guide came from one of my subscribers by the name of Shells. She asked me to put this comparison negotiation guide together on the Kona and the Seltos, and I'm pretty pumped up to be doing it. By the way, Kia Seltos for the win. Love this thing. What is happening, guys? Ari here from Boston Automotive Consulting. And as always, this video is brought to you by SaveOnMyAuto.com. SaveOnMyAuto.com is a resource you can use so that you can shop around for the best possible deal. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing because this whole channel is dedicated to giving you everything you're gonna need to know so that you can negotiate your best possible deal. Now, the two vehicles I've got picked out, the price tags are very, very close to one another. I tried to sort them out for both to be identical in equipment as well. So the Hyundai Kona I'm working on is an SEL Plus with an MSRP of 26,845, while the 2021 Kia Seltos EX has an MSRP of 26,830, and just so you know, they're both all-wheel drive models. So something that, something that, so something that Shell's picked up on was the markup in one of my previous Hyundai versus Kia negotiation guides. And she, she noticed the difference between Hyundai having a higher markup than the Kia. So this stays pretty consistent between the Kona and the Seltos. So a 4.2% markup is typically what you'll see on the Hyundai Kona, while on the Kia Seltos, we're talking about a 3.5% markup, roughly speaking here on both. Now, going for a 4.2% discount, in essence, trying to get to invoice price on the Hyundai Kona, that would bring us down to roughly around 25,717, while on the Kia Seltos, with a lower markup at 3.5%, we'd likely be targeting a selling price of 25,890. In essence, just a couple hundred bucks more, because we're not talking about MSRPs in the tens of thousands, up there near 100K, really half a percent really is not gonna make that big of a difference on a car this inexpensive. Right now, Hyundai is offering a $1,500 incentive if you take a higher promotional APR at 2.9%, or you do have the option of taking 0% at 60 months. I would encourage you to take the $1,500 rebate and get this selling price drilled down as low as you can because you can obviously pay it off early. If you take advantage of a 0% APR offer, you could still pay it off early, but your selling price would have been higher. Similarly, on the Kia Seltos, there's a $750 rebate if you're taking the 2.75% APR offer they've got. And if you don't take that offer, you're also given a promo APR offer of 1.9% at 60. So after subtracting all of the available offers, we'd be targeting roughly about 24,217 on the Hyundai Kona, and on the Kia Seltos, we'd be targeting 25,140, a substantial difference because of that rebate coming from Hyundai when you finance. Now here's where things may catch you a little bit off guard. If you're planning on leasing, here's where I think that the decision will be very, very clear. Now this is all assuming that you get down to invoice. I wanna encourage you guys some of you guys that are in states that aren't as aggressive as New England, you may not even get a discount off of the MSRP on the Kia Seltos, not yet at least. However, if you are pursuing one and aren't getting charged over MSRP, you're still doing okay. So, like I said before, going after that 4.2% discount on the Hyundai Kona and a 3.5% discount on the Kia Seltos, 2250 in lease cash coming from Hyundai and 1600 coming from Kia a 57% residual on the Hyundai Kona and a 61% residual 
on the Kia Seltos, a .00136 money factor on the Kona, and a .00183 money factor on the Kia. Now, after plugging all of this in into the lease calculator, and guys, believe me, I did not think that this was gonna happen just, just looking at the numbers before they were plugged into the calculator, this is gonna be a little bit surprising. So just putting just the inception fees, do it start. So your first payment, acquisition fee, dock fee, registration, all that stuff, do up front. So roughly about 1600 on the Kona, we'd be talking about 303 a month. And on the Seltos, we'd be talking about 292 a month. Both including tax, both at 36 months and 12,000 miles a year. About 10,000 will save you about 10 bucks a month. $10 difference between the Kona and the Seltos with the Seltos taking the lower payment. This is all really dependent on whether or not you get that $1,000 discount. But if you don't and you settle for MSRP, you're really only talking about $27 more per month. My hope is that after reaching out to a ton of dealers by using saveonmyauto.com to connect with them, that you'll be able to land this thing at invoice or even better than invoice. Really, really, really want to cross my fingers for you guys and make sure that you're doing all you can to score a sizzling hot deal. Also really, really hoping that Harut doesn't unsubscribe from this YouTube channel. Check him out on TikTok, will you? If you found this information useful and you want to see more of these new car buying and negotiation tip type videos, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to visit saveonmyauto.com as well as the resources down in the description below. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.